the sea of camaraderie. Love someone, love his city. I deeply love the well-known tourism paradise, Bali Island. Not only because it's my hometown, but also because of the story I'm going to tell. Yes, I love him or them. The story began many years ago. I was born in a village near the sea. It has a beautiful name, the Dolphin Bay. In my memories, childhood was tough due to the frequent changes of land and ocean weather. Winters of generations lived on fishing. The fishing resort could never be guaranteed. Sometimes, they couldn't even go out to sea. We often suffered from starvation. We were tired and scared of such a life. After graduation from high school, I became a shop assistant in a store. I like the line in the Chinese film, A Chinese at Sea. My Mr. Wright is a great hero. One day, he will come on colorful clothes and marry me. I thought I could realize my princess dream with hard work. But the reality slipped me hard. There wasn't a high salary for a shop assistant. I spent it on family use. I even begrudged buying a dress. Not to mention seeing the wonderful world. Even when I came back late from visiting a friend, I could easily experience being hopeless. I admit it, I didn't figure out the beginning, but the end of the story was unexpected. Then, he appeared. His belly power station founded and constructed by Chinese men. A smelling girl doesn't have bad luck. Yes, as you can say, I'm working with this power station. I love this power station. Without doubt, he loves me too. He respects my belief. Moreover, I all four times as before, when my friends see me so happy at work, they think I'm in love with it. Belly power station is my Mr. Right. A Chinese gentleman with an international vision. He and his men eliminate the power failures in our village. Increase our income and make our life easier. I guess it's a secret that millions of Chinese people became better off. He often contributed money to help villagers and poor students. He built prayer rooms and Muslim restaurants. He also helps to build schools and mosques. With full respect for our beliefs and customs. It in case that Chinese people are practitioners of building a community with a shared future for mankind. We are close to the power station now. But Aaron's door comes with trees and turns. Bali Island is a famous tourist attraction. Before the power station was built, we all worried about pollution. It could be built on the coastline, after all. We were tired of living and fishing. But here is our home. We didn't want the dolphin to disappear so that the visitors could come. Dolphins have a say in the environment. Every morning, the sun rises. Hi, my old friends. How are you doing? Let me proud of the scenery. For my hometown and our power station, Technology indeed changes everything. The power station, founded and constructed by CED, 
and takes nearly half of the power consumption of the island. Cities in remote technology guarantees a stable population free operation. Stricter terms are taken in months. Meanwhile, due to ample power supply, more and more visitors are coming to Bali. There are even western horses in our village. So, in my eyes, Bali Power Station is my Mr. Right. No, I mean, Mr. Right. When I hope my story goes on happily, the pandemic broke out suddenly. Against the global outbreak, the Chinese workers stayed on their posts and overcame difficulties. This paid a personnel downsizing. They organized a more efficient plan for work reception. While protecting the safety of air employee, they helped other ordinary people in Bali to their best and provided us with money and materials. The Build and Road enables more people to know the wisdom of Chinese people and the significance of Chinese hungry. During this fight against the pandemic, the Chinese workers firmly hold the hands of their friends to carry forward their friendship for common development. I love you, Bali Power Station. I love you, my job. I love you, China Guadin. Thank you for brightening my life. And Fuji, an ordinary Indonesian girl. This is my story.